In this episode of Law Talk, we discuss accident reporting requirements. We get asked, is, is you're riding down the trail and you're involved in an accident, whether with somebody else or tree or, or, or whatever, what do we do? Uh, Sergeant Myers can kind of explain the, the procedure and what the law is. So you're going down the trail and whatever it might be. So the requirement of the law is you have an injury or a death or an estimated property damage value of over $100. Michigan law requires that you report that accident to the Sheriff's Department or State Police within the county of which you're riding. So basically the procedure would be, um, and I'll tell it to you from our end of it because we, I, and others in our rescue area here respond to many accidents throughout the years and you know the the first thing to do is obviously you get into a wreck look at everyone make sure they're okay someone ends up being hurt um, you need to get to that phone you need to dial 911 and our trail system here in Lake County there's a lot of blue trail signs at all the crossing or blue Markers, emergency blue, markers. Blue markers. They'll have three numbers on them, and they're scattered. They're almost every mile, everywhere on Lincoln Hills and Little Manistee. Those numbers correspond to numbers on the map, and then also there, when you call 911, if you can tell them the closest numbered sign, that gives them a real good idea of, of where you are. And then, of course, the lab dispatch will ask you many questions. Um, really need to have someone who's calm uh, to give this information because our response can really be delayed by not good information that's passed on. So remember your locations, your injuries, um, anything that's pertinent to that time and, and what you may have seen on the way, how many were involved, like you said, these are all questions dispatch is going to ask you and the better information you can get them, the quicker we can get there and bring the proper equipment. We have a lot of equipment. Um, to go to different areas. However, if we go to one area with certain equipment and we weren't given the right information, then we now may have added another 40 minutes to the response time just because we need something else to get to you. So, and something else to remember too, when you do get in accident, say it's not severe. Say you just, two, two buggies come together on a corner, you know, there's one maybe disabled, there's substantial damage, no injuries. One big thing that when I show up I like to see is people have moved those vehicles. So when you get into that instance where say you're on a corner, hopefully you have another people, other people or more people that were involved or someone's coming up on where you can set up someone on the corners to make sure another ATV doesn't come running into your scene. But if you move those vehicles, it's harder for me to decide, come to a conclusion as to how this accident happened. Because believe it or not, Sometimes people disagree, and the riders disagree on how this accident happened. And if the machines have been moved, it's harder for me to determine who did what. The legal opinions presented are from the perspective of ORV law enforcement in Lake County, Michigan.